men are here to procreate. That doesn't mean that he doesn't love you. He's just doing what he is designed to do. Now, all the women in the comments are heated. They don't understand at all. But I'm about to break down what he meant. Back in ancient times, it was normal for men to have more than one female because men are designed to reproduce with multiple women. The thing about spiritual men or men who are woke is that a lot of them are willing to criticize all of these European constructs like capitalism, Christianity, white supremacy, and racism. But when it comes to things like patriarchy and sexism, they are holding on to that shit for their dear life. As he stated in his video, he believes that men are supposed to have multiple children and that in ancient times this was perfectly normal because men are literally designed to reproduce with multiple women. My thing is, when y'all talk about ancient times, y'all don't be going back far enough for me because there was a point in time where polyandry was just as normal as polygamy. That's not a popular conversation in patriarchal culture though. Then the argument for this is always that men can get 100 women pregnant at one time, whereas a woman can only be pregnant once every nine months months. It's so important to pay attention to the language and the word choice used because it's so manipulative. It is also extremely important to understand that creating a child is only one part of the process and usually the easiest part. Because when this topic comes up in conversations, I never hear them say that men are natural nurturers who are naturally equipped to take care of the multiple children that they are naturally supposed to have. I never hear them say that it's in a man's nature to be mentally and emotionally available to multiple women and children. I never hear them say that men are naturally able to provide for multiple women and children and maintain multiple households. As a matter of fact, there are a plethora of men out there right now that think that women are supposed to work as hard as they do and go 50-50 with them. Nor is the need for the presence and activeness of both parents ever bought up. All they say is that it is acceptable for men to have multiple children with multiple women because they have the natural ability to do so. But then, let a woman who is also able to have multiple children with multiple men actually have multiple children with multiple men and she becomes every derogatory name known to mankind. At the root of this patriarchal ideology is the belief that sex is only for impregnating women. This is also where a lot of y'all's homophobia stems from, but that's a conversation for another day. As a collective, we need to understand that sex can be, and oftentimes is, solely for pleasure. I mean, we do understand this for men, but for some reason, society has a hard time wrapping their heads around the fact that this same stands true for women. In Rail's video, he mentioned that men are just naturally lustful but failed to talk about the natural, sensual, and sexual energy that women carry. What really did it for me though is this whole take on cheating. Cause in one video, it's in a man's DNA to cheat. So it is what it is. But in a different video, it's a woman's fault if she gets cheated on because she needs to learn how to act. This is something that most of y'all won't understand. Mm -hmm. Another chopper just made a tweet that said, by nature, men are going to cheat. It's literally in our DNA too. Bro, y'all genuinely wonder why y'all can't find no real man. Take it from a man. No man wants no girl that act like this. I'm not gonna take y'all serious. That's why y'all get cheated on so much. You Which one is it? Oh damn. Oh, Mr. Tyrone. I just gotta get freaky for you because you love the hoes. <laughs> I don't care if they don't like me. I came here to stunt. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if they don't What's good everybody if you're first time viewer of my content of this video make sure you like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel shout out to miss alex of sin i have done previous videos on her content in the past she used to follow me on instagram but that's okay that's 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 all right no it's really it's really okay my content can be a bit out there okay <laughs> but I still I still follow her on TikTok. Shout out to her, her content and stuff like that. He hit up on a very great point in this video concerning polygamy. And I talk about this as well concerning polygamy. If you've seen my polygamous videos and my particular perspectives on polygamy, I will have those videos linked at the very end of this video, at least the very best of those videos. If you want to see a, a whole concept or a whole scope of me talking about polygamy for the past couple of years, all you have to do is put in my name and polygamy and the videos should pop up. Nonetheless, when it concerns men having the ability to impregnate more than one woman, I always, I, I said this in a video before, this does not give a man the license and the credibility to do that. Just because a man has the ability to impregnate more than one woman doesn't mean that he should. Just because a man can murder a man or a woman 
or a family or a set of people doesn't mean that he should. Just because a woman can pop her poom poom out there for man up and down the block doesn't mean that she should. Just because you have it in your nature and you have the power and the ability to do it doesn't mean that you should. This is where discipline, this is where self-control, this is where thinking with your, your, your right mind, this is where all this comes into play. Now, at the end of the day, you do what is necessary for your own life. You do whatever you see fit to your own life. But everything must have context. You can't be out here encouraging the masses of young people who weren't raised in two functional two parent functional households to tell them to include more than one person within their household that they're trying to build. It doesn't work that way. If we haven't even seen a, a mastered or a functional image of a black man and a black woman together, why are we trying to push men to be with more than one woman? I ain't talking about if you want to do what you want to do, you, you over here, you know, having your sneaky links and you living your best life. I'm talking about creating families, having multiple girlfriends having multiple wives and stuff like that that's a lot to deal with and as she said before you you tell these men that they can impregnate more than one woman that they can have sex with more than one woman but you don't tell them about the emotional availability you don't tell them about you know what it takes to provide for these women you don't tell them about what it takes to be in multiple relationships with these women where does it stop where does it end are you just going to limit it to two women or are you going to limit it to five women or six to eight women, like, where does it stop? You know, it, it, it's not about, you know, what you can do naturally or what, what you have the ability to do. Most of y'all are just sexually undisciplined. That's just what it is. Now, I'm not going to get into this whole patriarchal, patri, patriarch culture. Or, I ain't going down the road of feminist talk. <laughs> but what I will say that it, it is a very toxic concept for some of these uh, woke conscious Negroes to push to black people is not going to work out whatsoever. But share your thoughts concerning the home as a hand in the comment section below. Let me know how you personally feel about this issue and topic at hand. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video with other people, like the video, all right, because it helps out with the algorithm and gets this video out to even more people, all right. So until next time, I'm out.